What up, what up, what up? What up, what up ladies and gentlemen? You boys just welcome back to another Matter 25 Ultimate Team gameplay. And today, we have the biggest coin game of my life. Or card game. This card is going for 330k on the block. And I told the guy I would match with coins. I was chilling in Adam's stream and some guy comes out of nowhere. I had no idea who he was at the time. And he's like, yo, I'm looking to play a 200 to 300k coin game. You got to pay it front. And I'm like, yo, I haven't seen you before. You're probably not legit. Like, yo, don't nobody fall for that. Tell me they got to pay you up front. He's like, he's like, no, bro, I'm legit. I'm a streamer. He had, he knew who I was. He's like, yes, I'll play you right now for Fantasy JJ. And I'm like, yo, you're not going to play me for Fantasy JJ. He's like, no, bro, trust me. I'll play right now. I don't give a damn. I know your team is better than mine. I don't care. So he's like, uh, add me and put up a card. So I added him. I put up a card. And bam, he traded me Fantasy JJ. And I'm like, yo, you got to be kidding me. So uh, I wasn't expecting it. My heart was beating very fast because I don't, I don't like to put myself in pressure situations. That's why usually when I play coin games, it's 20K, 15K, 30, 40, nothing big because I don't like putting that type of pressure on myself. You know what I mean? So um, this is a very big game. And like I said, he is a streamer, uh, the 757 Goonies. That's his stream too. Cool dude. Um, you know, plays, um, you know, by any means necessary style, which you guys will see. But, you know, cool dude. I was a 99 at the time. And, uh, I mean, my team is completely different from then because I uh, sold a bunch of my players. If you guys don't know, um, sell on my team. So if you guys are interested, hit me up in a uh, message. Or I also, I'm also selling coins as well. So my team is different from when it is when I enter this game. So, But, um, you know, even though my team is better, he has a team capable of beating mine. You know what I mean? It's not like he's got a 54 overall team. Uh, you have guys see me beat powerful 99 overall teams. With, you know, uh, 89 overall team. You know what I mean? Right there. Don't test the user. He is so disrespectful. Somebody please give that gentleman a link to my channel. No, do not throw the ball my way. Huge pick right there to be able to hopefully get on the board. And, uh, right, he's playing all out fag D. Um, we got the 99 Drew Brees who is by far the best thrower in this game. And um, it, I, it took me a while to make adjustments because right here, well, all oh out fag D, Drew Brees speed only being 68 or whatever it is, uh, he definitely caught me off guard. He plays fag D and he uh, shake blitzes as well. So, um, and I he'll shake blitz and it'll be fag D. He'll shake blitz and it'll actually be a blitz. So he was he was definitely catching me off guard. And I'm like, okay, this is this is gonna be difficult. You know what I mean? Uh, we all know I, you know, I'm against fag D. You know what I mean? I, I believe that uh, you know if I'm able to win games with my horrible defense if i'm able to win games rushing at least three at all times anybody could you know what i mean so um the and it doesn't help that i struggle against it as well you know what i mean uh maybe i would hate it a lot less if i did good against it but i struggle against it very badly you know you guys should already know that i struggle against fag d so bad and, um, you know, and, and again, I was into Fag D in Madden 12 because my defense has never been good. My defense has always been bad. So when I was uploading back in Madden 12, I would I would run Fag D because it helped me out. You know what I mean? And uh, then I noticed on YouTube it was uh, it, it was frowned upon. You know what I mean? You can't be a commentator out there running Fag D. People were like, yo, man, why are you you're, you're running Fag D? And I'm like, what is Fag D? I had no idea. And, you know, they let me know in the comment section when I was uploading videos. It was like, yo, you're putting everybody in coverage. That's whack. You shouldn't be doing that. And then I was like, uh, okay, you know, that's frowned upon in the Madden community. So I learned ways to win, you know, actually playing horrible defense still, but still rushing three. And, um, you know, ever since Madden 12, you know, I've, I've, I don't do it. And, you know, I'm against it because, like I said, I feel like you can win other ways. Uh, and, uh, like I said, I, I struggle against it badly. So, uh, I knew a change had to be made. You know what I mean? I had to, you know, I'm running Kansas City at the time. So, Kansas City doesn't have too many good running plays. So, uh, what I decided to do was I had to take Breeze out. I had to. I had to put Kaepernick in. Kaepernick is a lot more mobile. Here's him doing a shake blitz. And uh, what I like to do here, sometimes I'll just let him do it. Go ahead, get your finger side. I will literally sit there and let you do it for like 20 seconds because eventually doing it over and over and over and over and over, you're going to get, you know, impatient. Like, come on, hike the ball. I don't want to continue to keep doing this. But I'm um, just, just letting you know that, you know, he was shake blitzing. He was, um, you know, doing fag D. And uh, it was, it was uh, tough for me because, you know what I mean, those are, you know, some things that, uh, I don't go up against very often, and uh, you know I, I struggle against it. So, um, and it, it again, it didn't help that I had a, a non-mobile QB 
in there with uh, Breeze. I didn't want to take him out because, like I said, Breeze throws dots, man. I mean, I, I uh, sold him, but uh, he's by far the best throwing quarterback I've played with by a mile. By a mile. Right there uh, a couple seconds ago. We are living like Larry. Um, we are, uh, yeah, Drew Breeze throws dots, but he's slow. And then you run into Fag D and Drew Brees can't do anything. With Kaepernick, you know, if you right here, look at this. He throws it up, comes down with the catch right before halftime to tie the game. And I was highly upset, man, because I was getting ball at halftime with a three-point lead. A touchdown would have put me up two possessions. And I feel like that possibly could have been game at that point. But then he ties the game. And I'm like, oh, man, you guys might be able to hear him at times speaking in the background. I heard him through the connect mic. So, uh... Yeah, so as you see, I'm, I'm trying to run the ball. I got to get him out of the fag deep. You know what I mean? I, obviously, I know running the ball helps, man. Right here, we back up. I got Breeze in the game. Uh, hit him with the screen. You see, uh, you know, some more fag deep. And uh, I'm hoping that, you know, these screens and runs will keep him honest. You know what I mean? I hate running the ball out of Kansas City playbook because there's only a couple good runs. And, and it's meant for uh, a semi-mobile QB. Alex Smith is no... You know, Michael Vick, Cam Newton, but, you know, he, he got some legs on him. You know what I mean? So, uh, right there, my guys bump into each other. But I'm just I'm just trying to get him out of this fag D as, as you know, best as I can. So, I'm trying to run the ball, which I never do out of Kansas City. And it, it's working. It's definitely working right here. We go to another run out of pistol. And uh, our running back at the time was uh, Eric Dickerson. And, uh, you know, just a big back who fall forwards. I had uh, Shady McCoy and 99 Peterson, but I... Uh, um, uh, auction both of those guys because they just are too um, they fumble too much for me. McCoy and uh, playoff Peterson fumbled the ball way too much so I got rid of them. Eric Dickerson doesn't fumble the ball as much and he falls forward more than those guys even though he's not as quick as those guys uh, right uh, here we run the ball again with Dickerson and we end up picking up the touchdown. Uh, right here a 10 point lead would have been huge. It definitely would have been huge but you know I'm only up 7 so uh, he has the opportunity to go on ahead and tie this game. Now I'm hoping that uh, we can stop him from draining a lot of clock. If if he does score, let it be quick. You know what I mean? That way I can have enough time for me to, you know, drive downfield right here. We send the blitz with Pete Dog and it's up, 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 up. And we end up recovering the ball. That right there is the only way I found to put uh, Brian Dawkins, 99 um, holographic Brian Dawkins. Um, that's the only way I found him to be effective. Blitz him. He will make the quarterback fumble with his 102 hit power. Anybody else? Barely. Like, I've played 80 games with him. I've seen maybe five fumbles. Sean Taylor, to me, out of all the players I've used in Mutt, Holographic, Joe Hayden, you talking about Holographic, um, Brian Dawkins, uh, Combine, Dwight Freeney, uh, Holographic, um, Hardy, and all those guys, man. Sean Taylor outperforms everybody. He, I'm telling you, he's like a Deion Sanders. Uh, yo, he's, he baits the hell out of people by himself, man. Dude is a glitch. All right here, you know, we're up seven. All I really got to do is be able to get myself in at least field goal range. I've struggled moving the ball, you know, a lot. So I'm just trying to go on ahead and mix in Drew Brees and Kaepernick. Like I said, I'm trying to keep him honest because uh, the fact that he was giving me a lot of problems. And um, that that's expected with Drew Brees, you know what I mean, especially with the style of offense that I was running. You know what I mean? That's why I always kept uh, Kaepernick in. On my depth chart, just in case I run into somebody who's like, okay, well, you got Drew Brees, you're running five wide, uh, it's tough to stop, so I got to be able to go on ahead and, you know, put extra guys in coverage. Uh, right here, man, we end up winning the game, we just kill the clock, there's one second left, and we end up just punting the ball out of bounds and win the game. So that's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's your boy, Jess, and I am out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.